So NVIDIA Shield Pro, um, Chromecast, Google TV, uh, Dynalink Xbox, um, some random Chinese uh, Android TV box. It doesn't really matter which of these devices you mainly use. At the end of the day, these devices do have limited RAM. When you have too many applications open in the background, you will notice that your device memory runs low and overall it does impact your performance. Now, for example, some of you on the NVIDIA Shield Pro will know that when you double press the home button, this shows you your foreground running application. So we can see I have the background apps and process list and also my TDUK app killer. So it looks like I just have two things running in the background, but as you'll see very quickly, as soon as I open up the background apps and process list, which is available directly on the Google Play Store, it actually shows you in fact that I have 18 applications open in the background. And typically on these Android devices, these applications, they do start up, they do consume some memory, and they basically just stay running in the background. So when you do actually open them up, they'll open up that little bit quicker. But in reality, when your device has limited RAM, limited resources, over time, these can actually cause your device to slow down. And we can see here when I click on refresh, just to confirm that it is 18 applications running. I'm doing that a few times. But again, when I double press the home button, all I just see is two things running in the background. Now I'll be waiting to get my application published in the Google Play Store. And as of today, which is Saturday, 25th of March, it is now fully published. So hopefully when this video goes out live, if you open up the Play Store, just search for TDUK, you'll see my cash cleaner and the new TDUK app killer. And if you didn't know, you can now open this up. You can click on connect. The first time you do this, it will ask you to allow a DADB connection. Just click on always allow, click on OK, and you'll now see these three options. If I click on the last option, which allows me to count how many things are running in the background, I can click on that and we can see we have 18 things running in the background on my Nvidia Shield Pro and that properly correlates with what we saw on the background apps and process app. And now just with one click, I can select this and it tells me in less than one second, it's now closed off 17 of those applications. And I can now click on this option here. It says we have no applications running because it doesn't count itself. But if I click on exit, Go back over here and we can now just see one thing running left. So literally in less than one second, you can quickly properly stop. And when I say properly stop, I mean force stop all of these applications running in the background and quickly regain your system memory, quickly improve your system performance and really just get the best from your streaming device, whether that's an NVIDIA Shield or a lower powered Dynalink box, or one of the other Chromecast, Google TVs, any device running Android TV, you can get this application. It costs just $1.99. It's a lifetime license. You can buy it once and you can then install the same application across all of your Android TV. So whether you have three Android TV devices or 25, you only pay once and that covers all of your devices. And also I'm already working on the update for this application, both on Amazon and the Play Store, whereby the next one, it will actually uh, exclude or not force stop VPNs like your IPVanish, like Express, like Surfshark, also your custom launchers like Launcher Manager, like Wolf, also your mouse toggle and also your set orientation. All of those applications will automatically be excluded in the next release. So when you click on full stop, it won't actually stop those applications so they can carry on running, but the application will then stop all the other processes running in the background. So really appreciate your support. I'm going to be adding lots of great new features, lots of new things to these applications. Hope you guys like it and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.